hello everyone how are you i hope everyone is doing fine today i will show you how we can solve codality problem you will see when you will go codality website there are a lot of lesson we will i will try to do all the problem with you and sharing with you for beginning now we can start from iterations what is iteration when now we are talking about iteration we have to know iteration means what iteration means to repeat some task or problem or repeating work several times to get the result basically the main concept of iteration is like this for no, knowing more about iteration you can search in internet or google and this is the script from codality what is iteration they already define in programming iteration means repeating some part of your program that means you should repeat something to get the result this lesson represent basic programming construction it's just an introductory level like a beginner level that allow iterations to be performed now this iteration will work depends on loop for iterating on our program we can looping for we can using for loop or while loop depends on different language the syntax is different today we will solve binary gap problem using iteration and we will use java programming language then this is the documentation about iteration this is while loop how we can use it for iteration now let's go for coding we should go there and start the timing is a start i have two hours to solve this problem so what is the problem at first we have to know what we have to do a binary gap within a positive integer n is any maximal sequence of consecutive zero that is surrounding by ones at both ends in the binary representation of n what does it mean i should explain i think for an example we will receive some integer number like 1000 2000 15 9 32 1041 1050 something like this we will receive like this number and we should convert it in the binary number try to understand this is the main point we should convert it to the binary number for example number is 9 i already mentioned earlier number 9 has binary representation 1001 that means its binary gap is 2 because always remember we are going to count binary gap all 0 which number will start from 1 and ending 1 that means binary number start from 1 and ending 1 and between these two 1 how many zero we have we should count it this is the main concept about this problem so i think now we can start coding for an example i already mentioned we should convert it in a string okay so i am taking a string data type a string or you can say it's class we are using a string also as a class but here we are using as a data type so i am assigning variable 
taking variable as a binary so we will receive integer numbers so i should define integer and we should convert it to binary to binary string and i am defining an and close this statement I am converting integer value to the string value binary string value so now I will define one array to counting the gap so I am taking another string gap array gap okay gaps because it will be more than one so it appropriate word gaps you can write whatever you want and later we should assign bi any array binary these are these word these are we should call here and re replace all what we have to do inside the replace we should call regression regex for an example 0 plus dollar that means 0 it will count only 0 and regex if not and dollar sign it if it will be it will count one by one that's why we are defining like this way and another one what we have to split we should split one because if we will reach until one that means it's finished the program should be returned the gap then we already did two things now we are going to call one integer and it will return us maximum gap and we should return maximum gap okay now this is the interesting part we already talked about iteration and now we are going to use it or i i will use for each loop gap gaps this gap we are calling as a variable and data type is a string and these gaps came here that means these gaps below we are assigning in this gap so now what we have to do we have to check condition using if statement how we can check it see we assign this value inside this variable so we are calling this variable dot len zth length this length is greater than zero and this length is also greater than max gap so what will happen if those two length is greater than then we can assign maximum gap equal to gap dot length then we are going we are getting answer like this so this is actually our code okay i now i should summarize again what we did at first we converted the variable now our integer number to the binary string later we call one array and we assign inside the array we are giving binary 
numbers and replace all we are using for zero for counting zero and split we are deducting from binary number one and int maximum gap int maximum gap equal to sorry i forgot zero we should assign like this we take another variable maximum gap it will start from uh, we assign it zero then after that we use for each low gap these gaps is come here then we check condition if gap dot len greater than zero and gap dot len greater than maximum gap so maximum gap equal to gap dot length after that we return maximum gap so let's go try our program is work or not mm -hmm. binary dot replace binary dot replace here i did mistake i already complete this maybe i did a spelling mistake just a minute actually when i work in intellij id then i should not write everything it's automatically suggest me what i have to do Mm -hmm. yeah i understand what is the mistake because i should define two now i think it will be work yeah now it's working because inside the replace i should assign two variable one is regex this is the regex variable one is replacement this is the replacement variable empty string so now everything is fine everything is working properly you can see our result for an example for 32 it should be returned zero so it it's returning zero that's why it's okay for 15 for 15 15 15 1441 for it's it should be returned five that means it is turning five that's why it's okay and 15 15 i am we see already our two condition is to let's say 15 for this it should be written no binary gap because all are one no zero so it's also true then now let's go to submit and we can see this solution how many percent we are getting for this solution and is it okay or not continue Mm -hmm, nice our score is 100 percent it's still it's evaluating our task score correctness and performance but i face one problem in this problem we, i am not getting performance result and not only me i also check some tutorials and check some programmers site they are also not receiving performance mm, that's why i don't know what is the main problem but you see this is our code later from all the consequences all the requirement fulfill that's why all are okay so it's nice it's not bad you can try it and stay with me i will solve all the problem step by step and i hope it will be helpful for you 
to follow my tutorial to follow my problem solution tricks and tips i think i no, i am not doing very well but i am trying to sharing my knowledge with you better way i will try to do it more better for this you have to stay with me and subscribe my channel and like video to get update you should you should click the bell icon then you will get all update so for today it's enough